Let the number of Samuel's marbles equals S. Let the number of David's marbles equals D. Before starting a game, Samuel and Debbie had a total of 30 marbles. S plus D equals 30. Each of them lost 6 marbles at the end of the game. The product of the number of the marbles at the end of the game was 80. Lost 6 marbles mean S minus 6 and D minus 6. The product means S minus 6 times D minus 6 equals 80. Then we solve these simultaneous equations to find the values of S and D. From these equations, we get S equals 30 minus D. And then we sub this equation into this equation. After that, we simplify this expression. 24 times D equals 24 D. 24 times negative 6 equals negative 144. Negative D times D equals negative D squared. Negative D times negative 6 equals 6 D. 24D plus 6D equals 30D. Negative 144, negative 8D, negative 224. After that, we move all the three terms to the right. Then solve the quadratic equations to find the values of D. When D is 16, S is 14. And when D is 14, S is 16. Before doing these questions, please correct questions. Later. Train B travels for 230 km and average speed of X km per hour from Colombo to Kotabaru. The formula of speed is distance over time. The speed is x km per hour the distance is 230 km the time is t when q travels from kotobaru at a very speed of x minus 5 km per hour and arrives at Colombo 30 minutes later than train b the speed is x minus 5 the distance is still the same 230 km and the time is 30 minutes later than train P. It means T plus 0 0.5 hour. Calculate the total time in hours taken by the two trains. Solve this mountainous equation. Sub this equation into this equation. Negative 5 equals negative 5 over 1. After that, time t for both denominator and dominator so that both them have the same denominator that is t then do cross multiplication 330 times t equals 330 t 330 times 0 0.5 equals 165 negative 5 t times t equals negative 5 t square negative 5 t times 0 0.5 equals negative 2.5 t Then solve the equation, convert 2.5 to integers by time 2 to all three terms. So t is 11 over 2. The total time is the time for term p, t, that is 11 over 2, plus the times for train q t plus 0 0.5 it means 11 over 2 plus 1 over 2 total time is 11.5 hours let the price of one pencil equals y 
A price of x pencils is 12 ringgit. So y equals 12 over x. If each pencil is given a discount of 10 cents, the teacher will get to buy 4 more pencils with the same amount of money. 4 more pencils. The default number of pencils is x pencils. 4 more pencils means x plus 4. A discount of 10 cents. So the price of a pencil becomes y minus 0 0.1. Same amount of money, 12 ringgit, means this expression equals 12. Calculate the number of pencils that the teacher can buy after the discount. Sub these equations into y. Time x for all terms to remove the denominator x. Then move these expressions to the right. Convert both coefficients to integers by time all the three terms with 10. Then solve the quadratic equation. So the x is 20. Number of pencils that the teacher can buy after the discount is s plus 4. s plus 4 equals 20 plus 4 equals 24. Calculate the original price of each pencil. It means find the values of y. x is 20. So y is 0 0.6. The original price of each pencil is 60 cents. Root of quadratic function, a means fx equals 0, then find the values of x. So x is 3 or 1. The equation of the axis of symmetry, a means x equals 3 plus 1 over 2. So x equals 2, 3 and 1 are root of the quadratic function. Equation of the axiom symmetry, x equals average of the roots. Sketch the graph of the quadratic function. Negative means and shape. Then draw x, 3 and 1 on the x axis. So draw x axis first. And then the left side should be 1 and the right side should be 3. 0 should be on the left side of 1. And we draw the y axis. The y axis, the label is fx. Then we find the value of y intercept. The y intercept means x equals 0. The y intercept is negative 3. This is the answer. For your information, x equals 2 is the axis of symmetry. It means this straight line. The left part of the axis symmetry is the same as the right part of the axis of symmetry. We can find the maximum value. Up 2 to x. Get 1. The coordinate of the maximum value is 2, 1. Craft launch is an athletic contest consisting of three different events, typically swimming, cycling, and long distance running. Formula of speed is distance over time. The speed is 3 km per hour and the time is 15 minutes. Convert the minutes into hour divided by 60. So the distance of swimming is 0.75 km. The speed for cycling is 3x. And the time is x minus 2. 
So the distance for cycling is 3x squared minus 6x. The speed of running is x and the time is x plus 1 hours. So the running distance is x squared plus x. Total distance means we find the sum of these three distance. This is the answer, and the answer is recommended right in general form of quadratic expression.